ever get that uh, kind of pit in your stomach when you see a hurricane barreling towards your home state on the news? Oh, yeah. First thought for a lot of us. The evacuation, right? Right. But that's not everyone's playbook. And today we're diving into a different approach entirely. We're taking a deep dive into the mind of the gadget guru, Andy Parr, and his choice to ride out Hurricane Milton from his home in Orlando. Interesting, right? The stay versus evacuate dilemma. So many angles to unpack there. Totally. And Andy's notes on his experience offer a fascinating look at his thought process. First up, location, location, location. He's in Orlando. That's a good bit inland. Right. And when we're talking hurricanes, that distance from the coast is key. Those coastal areas, they take a direct hit. Storm surges, the absolute worst, winds everything. As you move inland, though, that impact, it lessens. Makes sense. But Andy's not relying on just geography, is he? He mentions a 45 kW whole house standby generator. Oh, wow. I don't know about you, but that screams serious preparedness to me. Absolutely. A generator that size. He's prepped for a major power outage, which let's be real, is pretty much guaranteed with a hurricane. We're talking lights, refrigerators, even running the AC for some comfort in the thick of it. Yeah. That's next level readiness. Talk about being ready for anything. But even with power taken care of, there's the internet to think about. Yeah. Andy expresses some regret about not snagging a Starlink Mini. Yeah, I get that. Think about it during a serious situation like this reliable communication. It's a lifeline. Staying in the loop, checking on family and friends. That peace of mind is priceless. For sure. Starlink, these satellite internet options, they're becoming a go-to for a reason. They're less likely to go down when traditional networks get knocked out. Makes you wonder if that's becoming part of the standard hurricane prep kit. Okay, moving on to another big one, flooding. Andy mentions he's not in a flood zone and the drainage on his property is good. This is where it gets interesting and a little tricky. See, a lot of people, they overestimate their safety when it comes to flooding. Just because you haven't personally experienced it doesn't mean you're in the clear. These flood zones, they're determined by analyzing years of data topography. It's a science. So always best to double check those flood maps, even if you think you're safe. Exactly. And him mentioning good drainage, that's huge too. Easy to overlook, but it can really minimize the effects of heavy rain. Makes you look at those ditches and creeks near your house differently. Yeah. But even with all this meticulous planning, Andy ends his note with fingers crossed. A good reminder that nature uh, kind of does what it wants, even with the best laid plans. Exactly. We can analyze, we can prep ourselves to the max, but hurricanes, they're inherently unpredictable. So as we wrap up this deep dive into Andy's hurricane strategy, it really gets you thinking. What would your main priorities be facing down a hurricane? Would you go the generator and good drainage route like Andy? Or would other things matter more in your decision? Something to consider next time you're checking the forecast. 